Greetings to the Honorable Judges. My name is Grace Fisilatan from Sekolah Menengah San Francis Convent. Today, I would like to review five books that I love to recommend to you. The first book I would like to recommend is Jane Eyre, written by Charlotte Bronte. A pleasant existence as a governess is all plain orphan Jane Eyre can hope for. Then, an appointment at Thornfield offers her more than she could ever dream of, including a chance at real love. This classic novel is widely loved by many people all across the globe, as they could relate to their own desires, family values, and class, and are willing to sacrifice their own identities for those they love. Next up, I'd like to introduce to you to one of my personal favorites. It's entitled George's Mother's Medicine. This book is written by the well-renowned children's author Roald Dahl, and if you're looking for a quick comedy relief, I would highly recommend this read. The story begins with eight-year-old George Cranky, who is shown here in the picture, with uh, Mr. C. Kang Cranky and Mrs. Cranky, along with his grandmother, who likes to boss and bully him around. This story encapsulates notions of discovery, creativity, and mischievousness that the vast majority of children can identify with. The novel follows George as he creates this marvelous medicine in hopes that he may cure his selfish grandmother of her nasty ways. The next book I'd like to introduce you to is Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend, written by Matthew Green. Now this book is about Budo, and he is as lucky as imaginary friends go. He's been alive for more than five years which is considered ancient in the realm of imaginary friends. Max gave him this name, and he's the only person in the entire world who can actually see him. Both of them share the same memories, same thoughts, but there are some things that Budo knows that Max doesn't. Budo knows that Max is actually in danger, and he is the only one who can actually save him. Budo narrates this heartwarming story of love, loyalty, with the power of imagination. A wonderful book to read for those who have ever had a friend, real or otherwise. Now, the story of the Phantom of the Opera. This story is written by Gaston Leroux and is a well-known classic which has also been made into a drama. For those who have watched, I am sure you know about this wonderful story. Paris Garner Opera House is believed to be haunted by an entity known as the Phantom of the Opera, or simply to put it, the Opera Ghost. At the gala performance of the retirement of the two managers of the Opera House, a young little-known Swedish soprano, her name is Christine Day, is called upon to take the place of the opera's leading soprano, Charlotte. Little known, as Charlotte was ill, and Christine's performance was an astonishing success. This Viscount Raoul de Chagny, who was actually present at the performance, recognized her as his childhood playmate and he recalls his love for her. This is the journey of a phantom who has never ever experienced love. Never ever judge a book by its cover, as you follow Christine's journey to discovering the truth behind the mask of the phantom himself. last book I would like to introduce to you and recommend is A Little Princess by Frances Hoxham Burnett. This story is about a little girl named Sarah Crew, who is seen in the picture over here. She was raised in India by her wealthy father named Captain Richard Crew. Now, due to the harsh climate in India, most British parents would opt to send their children to boarding school back in London. Dear Sarah is no different as she is sent to attend Miss Mission School for Girls in London. This has mistress, Miss Mission likes to fawn over him in public, but she secretly despises her for her wealth. Now Sarah, despite being spoiled rotten by her father, as you remember she's very rich and wealthy, she's known to be extremely kind and friendly, and even makes friends with Emma 
and joined the school teams. The Charlotte Lottie, a four-year-old girl pupil known to tantrums, and to Rebecca Becky, a lowly stunted scullery maid. Unfortunately, tragedy strikes when Sarah's father dies of jungle flu. The news of his death soon reaches Miss Machine's ear, who then decides to force Sarah to become an errand maid as her main income of money is obviously gone. Mr. Carrie Scott, who is Mr. Cruz's childhood friend, gains all the profits from the diamond mine investment. Two years later, Ramdas, Mr. Carrie Scott's assistant, an Indian assistant, who befriends Sarah, coincidentally, when his monkey escapes into the adjoining attic. These two men soon find out that Sarah is actually Mr. Cruz's long lost daughter, who they've been searching for the past two years. Sarah is then brought to live with them under wonderful conditions and never again will she suffer the labor of being an iron girl. This story of Sarah inspires me to become a better me. As I'm bound to have ups and downs in my life, the story of little Sarah who never gives up is very inspiring. This book has made me look at things from a different point of view, teaching me how to become a better me, and I'm sure it will touch your hearts just like it touched mine. Thus, why will I highly recommend these five books. Quote from the author of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. Thank you for listening, stay safe, and goodbye.